Greetings from Bermuda, this is BD Alami, and welcome back to Circadian Dice, where we are in the middle of a run in campaign mode. Uh, running with the Cleric, we've made it all the way to the Chaos Realm, somehow, uh, without dying. Uh, and so now we're going to venture in there and see how long we can last for. Starts off nice and simple, one enemy. Tomb Guardian on his own. Um, okay. What do we want to do? Um, don't really love any of those dice faces we can get access to, so for now, let's keep that in him. Hope that something better comes along. Possibly even something with some money. Money and a shield. I'll take that. Uh, do I want to shield bash him? Not really. I should save the shield bashes for the harder enemies. So we've got two turns left. Uh, I think I'll keep that and take a damage for the gold. Okay, a lot of faces with gems, but really like faces with attacks. Could take this top one. Um, take the top one, put it over there. That will give us easy access to blue gems and the option of capturing something. Which would be good if we could capture something with a nice high attack. Greetings. Greetings, Fahid. How are you doing today, sir? Uh, I'm all right, thank you. Yeah, yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, looking forward to see how I can go, how far I can go in this. Uh, based on last time I was in the Chaos Realm, this could either be a like a two, three hour stream or a 10 minute stream. <laughs> so we'll see. Um, I guess if it's shorter, I'll do something else afterwards. But um, yeah. Uh, I really don't love these faces. How are you? What have you been up to? What have you been playing? We could try and restock. We should try and uh, level up at least actually. So, let's do it. Oh, okay, this is nice. Couple of nice options here. Uh, I've been working. <laughs> um, yeah, working as well. Working as well. Although, yeah, it was a, it was a nice weekend this weekend. Uh, yeah, I got to play quite a few different games, so that was good. Um, okay, oh, this was ordered slightly differently. I would take this one for the eight heal and the stunning, the stunning splash attack is amazing. Um, so, so I think we, we kind of have to take that. Um, I'm just, uh, that's a, ah, what do I overwrite there to put it on? Great. Hey, German, how you doing? <laughs> you barely missed anything. That's right. We are on wave one. Uh, as I agonise what to buy in the shop. <laughs> Thanks. How you doing? Good. 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 Uh, yeah, I'm all right. Thanks. All right. It's just saying to Fatty, this could either be, uh, I guess, a, a two or three hour stream if it was like the last time in Chaos Realm, uh, or a, a, a five minute stream. Uh, so we'll see. I really want this top face, but I don't know where to put it. I want to put the heels over this heel, but then do I get rid of the blue gem? And then I don't have access to shield bash anymore. Do I get rid of a shield? So I only have a 1 in 12 chance of being able to do shield bash. Or do I get rid of the money, which just nerfs my ability to 
buy more stuff. Ah. Uh, that is a horrible decision. I, this thing at the bottom is good as well. Attack and temporary money on reroll. Cost six. This is horrible. The heart basically counts as one random piercing damage. That's true, it does. It does. Although... Right. Although we've still, we've still got the same problem, we, we still have to replace... <laughs> there's, there's no getting around it. Either we've got to replace a shield, or we've got to replace a blue gem, or we've got to replace gold. If, if we're going to put it on that face. And yeah, because of the mummy, we, we probably should put it on that face. Uh, oh wait, hang on there. Does it work? No, it is when you score hearts on this dice. Yeah. Uh, well, I suppose the other option is, is putting it on... On here, right? Put it over two attacks. Uh, but... I mean, they've not even got a 1 in 3 chance of getting an attack on each dice, which is not very good. Oh god, this is horrible. Okay, we're, I think we're going to put it over the... Uh, hey AJ, how's it going? Five cost faces in dice two top. So you would take this one and put it in here. Uh, that would be a straight upgrade, wouldn't it? Everything we've got. But I like this face so much. It gives us the gems more easily, but oh, having a massive heal. And a splash stun is so powerful. So powerful. <laughs> like this is one of the hardest choices I've had, actually. Um I think we're gonna put it we're gonna put it here and we're gonna put it over the gold. And we're gonna hope that we can get gold somewhere else. Um Yep. Done. Add two heart symbols to target non-trap dice face. Or plus two charges for holy light. Ooh, well, we've got ourselves a pretty good heal now. Extra holy light is good because it will increase our max health. So being able to do that a few more times seems like a good thing. Uh, you haven't played this enough to be of any use. <laughs> Excited for Banners of Ruin though. Yeah, me too. Uh, yeah, I wasn't even picking... Uh, planning on picking it up uh, and then it was the usual thing of oh, okay epic game store's got a sale on again let me go have a look um and yeah five dollars 49 on epic game store and 20 dollars on steam and it's kind of annoying because 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 i don't i don't really like the epic game store i mean it, it's fine it does the job but i just like steam having everything in one place and the achievements uh and stuff so i prefer to get it on steam and so even if stuff is more expensive now, I've been buying it on Steam rather than Epic. But when it's four times, almost four times as much, it was like, okay. Uh, there's, yeah, I'm just, I'm getting it on Epic. Um, but that that is weird Bermuda prices, I think. Um, I don't think anybody else has said the prices are as cheap on, on Epic as I see them here. So I don't know why. But shh, don't tell anybody. I want it to change. At least it means, it's, at least, yeah, it also means I don't worry about like five bucks to pick up a game it's like fine i'll pay five bucks and pick it up and give it a go and it doesn't even matter if i don't, don't play too much of it so uh you bought stuff like oxygen not included again just to have it on steam yeah well i, I saw that today on epic as well that's four dollars on epic at the moment for me it's like really bonkers um Aspect of healing is great if we could put it on a reroll face. But the, the extra max. Uh, 
but it, well, or even having more options, I suppose. Oh, am I just indecisive tonight, or am I getting particularly difficult choices? Um, possibly a bit of both. Give me effectively an extra 14. Oh. We're going to get a reroll face at some point. I'm going to take that. Alright. Go. Wow. Wave one still. Keep. Done. Next. Okay. Are we going for score now? You have so many doublers due to Amazon Prime. The amount of times you bought a game on Steam or GOG and then the next Prime free game has one of them. Really? Ah, huh. okay. I, I must admit, I don't really check the Prime free games. Um, I think I've looked at them on a couple of occasions and there's, it's just been crap there. Um, huh, interesting. What, what good stuff have you got off Prime free then? Preach is nice though because it plays into our uh, our horn. The XP is nice to get the dice early. I, I'm, I don't mind taking one of these early actually because we're not breaking a streak. We don't have a streak yet. Um, Puzzle Agent is free right now. That's an interesting one. Okay. Oh, um, oh, really? Sucker Bond? Ah. I should, I should probably check Prime Gaming. There's, there's probably been a ton of stuff. Sometimes do a similar thing with Xbox Game Pass. I've never actually bought something that's turned out to be free on Xbox Game Pass, but I've come close to it a couple of times. Um. Okay. What are we taking? I'm slightly worried about getting the XP fast enough because I don't have a lot of money. <sighs> She's pushing me towards this, but no, preach. Preach, preach, preach. Downside is we can't stun him with this. Ooh, yeah, the downside is we have no way to damage him apart from shield bash. Okay, but I'm keeping that to get rid of him. And then we can worry about this guy. Annoyingly, though, he's not even going to trigger that. Okay, we need shield bash. Nice. Oh, maybe it did trigger that. He took a damage. Okay. Two gold, five XP, score. Need to get the score going at some point. But... But, look at that. Look at that face for seven. He wants it. We're not going to get it, probably. Uh... And the money. Let's get ourselves kind of built up first and then start worrying about a score. Uh, pack Alpha. Tax for three. And then Rome's. Okay. Well, if we could stun him, that would be good. 
sadly. Uh, this. That's mm, where it's tricky. This, I mean, this would be a, a nice upgrade for this. Give us an attack too as well, which might be useful if you come up against any shielded enemies. Um, but I, uh, the lack of money is definitely worrying me. You have 243 games via Prime. Wow. That's the right. Okay, so I'm a shite. I'm not your thing, but you play them for your ex's grandson for when he's got a gaming PC when he's older. Right, cool, yeah. Yeah, I've done that with my son uh, for some of the... Um, uh, the free games on the Epic Games Store actually are, are really good as well. They're, they're usually worth claiming. Um, if you don't have an Epic Games account, there's like two... One, one a week or two a month or something uh, that are free on there. And they're usually decent games. Um, they're relatively recent decent games. So check that out as well if you're short games to play. Um... Oh god, much as I would want this, I don't think we're realistically going to get it. Well, he's got a chest, but he's not going to drop it because we're not going to kill him. He's going to roam. Um, oh, I was thinking of putting that over there, but I don't really want to put that over there. Because I want an extra... Well, the advantage of putting this over there, I guess, is... The extra shield, but the chain as well. So if the chain triggers, then we get three gold off that, which is pretty nice. Oh, it's just gonna, it's gonna mean I'm not gonna be able to get this face. This does potentially give us more if we get the chains, so. And it'll start stocking up some red gems if we get magic attacks as well. So let's take that. And it's XP. So it all helps. What happened? Did he actually die or did he just roam? I'm not sure what just happened there. You've got a still got a ton of Steam keys lying around unused, really? You've claimed, uh, claimed a few games on Epic, but don't use it. Okay. You have around 2,500 games via Steam, GOG, Epic Prime, Itch, Freeware, and Hard Copies. That is uh, pretty amazing. I don't know how many games I've got. Uh, I did, did we, we checked at one point, Fahid, didn't we? You sent me that link with um, that thing that looks at your Steam game collection. I think it was like several hundred on Steam I've got. Uh, I don't use GOG. Uh, Epic, I've yeah, I don't know, maybe got less than 50, I would say. One on Prime, two on HIO now. And that's it. Um, What do we want to take? We need that third dice. I'm going to take the XP. Now, these guys are a bit rude, really, already. Okay, I'm going to Aspect of Healing and I'm going to put it on there. And we would like two shields or that stun. Actually, that stun would be fantastic. Oh. Can't kill him, which is the worry. Okay, he regenerates one, so we will just pull the werewolf. Legendary chest, okay. But we are taking a chunk of damage. We got our dice there, that's good. Are oh, you going to start streaming, AJ? Awesome. Oh, well, yeah, let me, uh, let me know when you do that. Still have the files for the game page on the joke domains left. 
Oh, we're gonna get withered. I hate getting withered. Ah, what did he get rid of? A single attack, I think. That's not so bad. That is not so bad. Could have gone much worse. We'll get rid of you now, though. Ah, uh, we can't shield bash. We've got no blue gems. Oh, dear. Okay, nice. And stun her again. Let's get her... Uh, oh, we really want that legendary chest, though. Also, if she hits us, we don't necessarily want her to be killed by the money before we get the chest. I'm going to do that. Little risky. I would let a shield bash. So we get the chest. It might even give us something we can put on here. We've got no gold for it to steal. She'll do three damage and uh, the mummy will do two to her. Now uh, we can put one on her. Down to ten health. You know, love being down to ten health. Something better. Oh no. That's not better. That's that's terrible. Legendary item found. Okay. This face has one piercing attack and three chain. Wow. Alright then. Uh well we will put the chain on a different face to all the other chain. I guess we'll put it right there. We'll keep that because we need to heal. Uh, and we can kill her with that without using shield bash. Yeah, I could have put that there, but given it's got three chain, having it on a different dice to these two chains feels like a good idea. <laughs> Onlynostrils.com, I don't ask. Cool, thanks for that. I'll take a look. Okay. I really want to stay alive, so... XP. What's going on with those dice? seen the dice do that. Weird. Okay, choose a trial. All enemies get disease 1 for the rest of the scenario. These are always horrendous choices. Or all enemies have plus 2 health for the rest of the scenario. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is horrible. It's horrible. You make jerks and you register domains because they're stupid cheap. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know, guys. What would you do? I mean, uh, disease one leans into the multivitamin thing, so actually we could get some benefit from that. Um, especially if one of those things shows up that prevents us from taking... Is it... Does it prevent us from taking damage from disease faces or rolling disease faces? Um, if it's taking damage and we captured that, that would be a way to mitigate that. This feels potentially... I mean, it's not so bad if we end up having high attack, I guess. But it's going to make waves much harder to clear in time, so it increases the risk that we fear out. <sighs> we are kind of the shield dude. I get, uh, uh, kind of leading to that, but I don't know.
Especially given we don't have particularly high attack at the moment. Oh, I'm going to regret this. Let's take that. I am going to regret this. Especially if that dude shows up who kills me when I roll all the buff dice faces. Okay, we can't kill anybody with that, so re-roll. Capture him, curse faces can't be rolled. Add a fang to a random face on capturing dice. A shield can block piercing attacks. But if we fail to capture him, we get disease 3 and 8 damage. Four piercing attack and one attack and uh, a massive heal. Basically full heal. So we'll keep that. Uh, and we'll do... Now what is this? First one non-piercing damage. Okay, great. So kill you with that and kill you with that. Uh, not actually enough disease for multivitamin to trigger sadly. One measly money. Make some points. This is the guy. No. Tax on disease faces deal double damage. That's not the guy. who it is that protects you from disease. Oh, come on. I got so many good faces. <sighs> Just target enemy with attack one or health one. Some disease faces deal double damage. Tax on disease faces deal double damage. Let's capture you. We're gonna reroll. Okay. So the first one non piercing damage, so we could kill him. Shield bash, which we can do. Let's do that. Okay, good. We can kill him. So we'll do that. So much disease. Oh my god. Oh, well, at least it's boosting my attack disease spreads. Oh my god. Uh, okay, multivitamin, do your thing. Uh, again, three money. We need money. We really need money. Jeez. Hey, Monsieur Popsicle, how you doing? 5k points, I know. Um, yeah, made it all the way to Chaos Realm. I don't know how far we're going to get in Chaos Realm. Every enemy has disease now, so that's kind of bad. Uh, two black dice faces. 
no money to replace them. Uh, oh, that's good though. Each non-piercing fit. Okay, I'll save this for you if I can possibly get it. Uh, we'll keep that. Okay. So, what are we doing here? We got two shields, so you can't hurt me. I'll kill you. Got a dice. Nice. Nice, nice. Uh, this is probably a good time for shield bash. Uh, so, we'll do that. No, he takes damage if we gain health. So maybe we should put two on him. Two on him, then one on him. So much disease. So much disease. Uh, keep hit. Okay, can afford something. Uh, we can... Oh, decisions! Do we replace... Well, I guess what we can do is we can... Uh, we could take something like this one and put it over here. Get rid of one disease face. And give us a chunk of money. Uh, and if we're very, very lucky... Maybe we'll be able to afford this before it falls off the bottom, but probably not. Uh, but at least that gives us another chain as well. Um, and another shield, and yeah, it's just all around good. I'll do that. Uh, he's going to be a pain if we don't roll this. Oh, he's going to get hit though, which is at least good. I'm just going to keep that and uh, okay random debuff on the dice face used to attack him so let's use this because I would rather this got debuffed rather than this because it could end up withering off the uh, the attack which would be bad I uh, disease two that one okay yikes okay multivitamin fix that one for us Gain a health, gain some points, gain absorb force. Whenever your shield blocks damage, gain that much health and increase your maximum health by one. Um, yeah, I don't feel like I'm in a stable enough position to take the score, but I don't know if I ever will be. Let's just take that. Eater of souls. And a skeleton. Okay, well, at least we got this thing. Times four. Okay, so that's four attack. That's four shield. Okay, that's pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. Keep. This is piercing damage. So I guess we kill the skeleton. We can shield bash, and that will be a mega attack that will kill him. 16 attack. I'm not sure I've ever seen that much attack on one dice before. That is very nice. Goodbye. And goodbye to you. And uh, goodbye to you. And damage to you. Okay, big heals. Actually, I don't need the heals right now. It does get me too money. Let me roll. Uh, I guess keep disease spreads. Come on, multivitamin. 
Uh, remove a debuff at random from your dice. Gain 16 XP or gain points. Let's remove a debuff. We have so many. All enemies have plus two health for the rest of the scenario. I turned that down last time. Don't give me it again. Or curse four dice faces at random. Oh boy, and this is up to three disease now. This needs to get replaced. Like both of these two. Oh god. Um... all bad choices, obviously. This makes it harder to use Preach as well. Because there will then be no attack, there will then be no starting health one enemies. Um... Curse 4 you would go for. <laughs> what happens if it picks a face that's already diseased? Does it get disease and curse? I don't think it can, can it? Does it replace it or would it just not pick one of the diseased faces? Uh Curse is so hard though, because you, you can't get rid of it uh, by buying new faces, like, unless you put one of these over it. The only chance, yeah, is the multivitamin taking it off, but... Sure. No, it did pick four completely different faces. Alright, well at least we got our splash stunning attack, so... I guess yay for that. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> you died at 1-1 one, one on the daily at Poker Quest? You're joking. How do you die at 1-1? One, one? That's like... That's the first battle. <laughs> really? <laughs> what were you playing as? Toad? Really? Oh wow, okay. Is that today's daily? I haven't uh, I haven't tried that. Maybe maybe, maybe I shouldn't laugh at you till I've tried it myself, right? <clears throat> okay, who do we want to stun? Uh we would definitely want to stun him. Um we God. Uh Power three, although that's not really a problem. He's more of a problem. You died the next nerd after Sergeant Toad. Dick. Hey, well at least you beat Sergeant Toad. Wait, the next nerd after Sergeant Toad is is the campsite. Don't tell me you died on the campsite. Surely not. We could capture him with ah uh, well if we had the gems we could. Tax on this die deal one extra damage to enemies with no shield, okay. Mm. Mm. Uh, I mean, it, we, we definitely want to stun the shapeshifter, so... It's just a question of... We, could, we can kill him with that. So maybe... I guess he's slow anyway. Yeah, let's do these three. Kill you with that. Uh, we have one shield. She could use the shield bash. We have three blue gems. Ah, uh, so yeah, let's do that. 
shop. these. This is a nasty face. And three damage every time I roll it. But I really need two attacks to do that. Could take this heal, put it over here, put the capture over the that one. Give us a way to capture something in this dice. If we actually if we can capture him, actually can we use preach? We want to use preach to capture him. And then, a Horn of Vengeance is OP. gem I do one white gem or the capture come on bummer well there's no way we can leave him alive so I guess we've got to do that Charges of shield bash. I think I'll wait. Oh god. The debuffs are getting a little bit out of control. We can kill him with this. Uh, and heal, which we basically need to do all the time. Uh, but we're not going to get the chest. That got cleared. I uh, removed two debuffs at random. Yeah, do that. <laughs> Please. Okay, lots of shield. Lots of shield. I like that. Shield bash. Lifesteal disease. Uh, do one do. Oh, whoa. Eight attack. Eight attack on two dice. Okay, that's nice. Uh, then we'll get rid of you. And we'll get rid of you. And you've got a damage cap of one, so we won't waste this on you. We'll get rid of you. Or you. Well captured, 50% chance to gain one health each turn. something else. Great. Let's get the one that we can afford. Uh, let's cover up this debuff. It's a little like that three there, but whatever. Uh, multivitamin, do your thing. Okay. Is that one of the cursed faces? I think it was. 
Uh, gain a gold or gain a white gem and a red gem. Um, the white gem would be very useful. Let's take it. Okay. He is boss, so we can't use... Oh, we need it to be attack one anyway to use preach. Remember the six, three or more de damage deals that much damage. Minus two to you. Okay. And that deals damage reduced to buffs by one. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, I think we can do better than that. And again. Okay. Nice. So, let's... Actually, what's this? Barrier absorbs the first one. Okay, so we won't kill him. We will at least stun these three. Oh well, those two. Uh, and then I can kill him and kill him. Let's save the shield bash, we're running out of charges. Uh, I'd really like to see one of those bonuses that gives us extra charges for shield bash, that would be nice. Oh, okay, good, you died anyway. Money! Money, 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 money. Um, hmm, not much attack there. Money, money's gotta be worth it. Only with something like that. Three turns, wait, 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 wait. No, we've got three turns left to defeat these guys. Or oh, in particular, three turns left to defeat him. So, we need more attack. Four. Mm. I guess. Take damage and, uh, yeah, this dude will attack back, which is nice. Six, okay. That will kill him. Maybe we should use it on him, although, again, if he removes our bang attack, that would be really bad. So we can do it on him. We can reduce target and miss attack by one fork lightning, deal two piercing damage to each of two target enemies. I do have red gems, I've got a bunch of red gems already. So let's get that so we can make use of it. Why can't I pick that now? Does there need to be two enemies? a sun face on it as well. I didn't see that. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, frozen, fine. Freeze it. We can't get the chest, sadly. Okay, but we can get this. Um... Do we want that, though? This side is kind of bad. All of those faces leave a little bit to be desired. Uh, hmm. Money on reroll. 
Red gem, blue gem, shield. Can do better, restock. More white gems would be good. So let's take this and put that over there. Get rid of those two disease faces. I'm much happier about that. Okay. Gain three money. A white gem. More points. Okay, Tethervor. Five, five turns left to defeat all these. And he's got barrier three. Uh, how's that going to work then? It's not bad though, because it is three pierced. Three piercing. We can use shield bash. Let's do it. Um, got two shield. So the only one who's going to hit us is him. So, do piercing damage to two enemies. Can I choose him twice? No. Uh, then let's do... Actually, I guess we could do him and then hit him with that. We can get rid of him and not take any damage from them. So we're only taking damage from him. him double XP gain and gold gain. Is that chance to remove one fear. If I can attack on this die damages an enemy, that enemy gets frozen too. Add stun to a random attack face on capturing die. It's actually pretty good. Uh, well we'll hold off for now. Okay, that's a lot of attack, which is good. That's what we need. It's what we need. Definitely want to kill him first. Maybe I should have considered using that on him. Oops. That's fine. Uh, I'd stun to a random attack face and capture and die. Well, we've only got those, so it's actually not that great. 50% chance to gain one health each turn. Uh, I actually... Yes, all the health we can get, the better. Let's do that. And we have one block, which is enough to block both of those. Keep... He spreads. Seven. Okay, this now has nothing on it. Oh yeah, that had the capture on it, didn't it? Okay. So we should replace that with something. Probably... Probably... 
At least it doesn't have a chain on it at the moment. I thought we had a chain on this face, on this dice. No? Hmm. I mean, the chain, the stun, that is good. The red gem is not so good, but... Oh, we could always put something else over that. Let's do that. Uh, weaken 24 XP or points. Let's take Weaken. Oh god, it's the Bane of Chaos! Hello! Uh, alright. Alright, alright. Okay, so, so I misread this the first time I met him. So if we kill the hand... Uh, mine, it's, it gives him Relentless, which means we can't stun him, right? Um... Ten turns, yeah, that's true. Uh, but it does reduce his damage cap by two. Because currently he's got a damage cap of... Two. So if we kill a hand, that eliminates his damage cap, right? I read it the other way before, last time. I, I read it as if we kill his hand, that increases his damage cap. So I just went straight for him. Uh, which worked out fine in the end. I uh, did kill him, but... Uh, or we kill this hand. Um, he has damage cap 6 without hands. Why does it say when this takes damage, reduce that damage to 2? Oh, hang on. Sorry. I've misread it again. The fact that he has a hand means he has Relentless and can't be stunned or frozen. And it's suppressed his... Yeah, okay, so I did read it right the first way, the first time I met him. So his damage cap is only two. So if I... If, right, so if I kill the hand, it increases his damage cap, which is a good thing, because then he can take more damage each go, right? Uh, and he loses Relentless. Okay, so killing the hands is good. Okay, killing the hands is good. Uh, yeah. Uh, and how do we get him to reduce his shield? Uh, oh, my plus one attack and minus one shield whenever we re-roll. Right, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, they come back after some rerolls, do they really? Okay. Mm. Three piercing attack is good, but everything else is kind of a bit rubbish. aspect of healing on something. I'm going to use this. I don't think it makes sense to put it on a on one of the chains. We could weaken him as well. Uh, hmm. I feel like we can do better. Okay. Well, hmm, he's still got too much shield. We do have a stun, so being able to stun him would be good, although we've got to get through the shield to do that. Uh, gives him untargetable, we should probably... of that, I guess. Mortal Resurrects after three, three more rerolls. Oh god, okay. It's barely worth it. I 
It's like it's barely worth it. Oh, well, like, other than we're saving ourselves for, uh, attack five, I guess. Mm, let's save the shield bash. It's horrible because we want to do the rerolls to get his shield down, although then it's how much of this can we cope with. Yeah, last time I met him I had the preserver as an artifact. Um so my shield carried over from um from turn to turn and I had shield on reroll as well. So I actually killed him relatively easily. I think it's gonna be a lot harder this time. Uh good because of that. I mean, I can weaken him. I really know the best way to approach this is. I think probably doing more rerolls, honestly. It's going to make the other hand come back. I do kind of, my health's getting a bit low. Let's keep that. Maybe shield blocks damage this turn, gain that much health and increase your maximum health by one. Is it worth doing that? That will give us Six health and healers. Uh, and take us up to 33. Or I can just weaken the Bane of Chaos. Which, given the number of times going to need to re-roll to get that shield down. It's possibly a good idea. Uh, uh, we do? How do we got six attack? Let's kill the hands since we can't really do anything to him. Okay, we gotta get that shield down a bit more. Keep that. Let's stun the hand. Do some damage to him. Uh, do I want to replace some of these diseased faces? Could add another stun. It would lose a shield, but be bad over there. Uh, I mean, or we could put even this on there, I suppose. Increases the odds of getting this or a chain, and it's an attack multiplier. Ooh. Yeah, let's do that. 
Uh, we can do Fork Lightning. Two piercing damage to each of two enemies. No reason not to do that. Oh. Ah, okay, he's untargetable at the moment. Okay. Four, two, four. Seventeen health. I gotta watch that health as well. that. Oh, that will do. Ah, if I shield bash though, I can do that. 10 attack. Okay, let's reduce his damage cap a bit first. Uh, by getting rid of that. And actually, let's fork lightning. Oh, can we do that? if we do that. Uh, so then we can do more damage with this. Ooh, down to three. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, he is nine attack though. Not so nice. Uh, I should be okay. I could weaken him a bit more. Let's weaken him a bit more. Or piercing, he's dead. And a decent heal as well. In fact, a full heal. Ooh, okay. Oh. Chaos Bane Demon. It's not over yet. Ugh, I always forget he pops out. Uh, Relentless Piercing Attack Disease 1. Uh, okay, well, I guess I just have to hit you with that. Oh, Jesus! Annihilate destroys three dice faces at random when damaging me. Oh my god! That is horrendous. Fortunately. 24 attack. Shove that. <laughs> oh my god. No, he's, he's, he's made some D4s. Ah, oh, what faces did he get rid of? He's made a D4 and a D5. Which is not necessarily a bad thing. If I can put some really good faces on there. And these, these are decent. This is all right as well. Um, the debuffing is a little bit out of control at the moment. If that enemy shows up that kills me, if I roll a debuff face on every dice, I'm going to be dead. Uh, I would really like to see uh, somewhere that gives me uh, meditate. I can get some of this stuff off. But Anyway, aspects of healing. Uh, three money. Or a streak and points. I kind of just want to stay alive and get as far as I can, really. He removed a single attack and a single red gem on the right. Did he? Oh, good job. Okay. Of all the faces to get rid of, uh, I'm actually pretty happy about that. Um, aspect of healing. <laughs> we kind of need a lot of healing because of uh, all of the debuffed faces that we've got. And the fact that every enemy has disease. Um... So I am kind of tempted to take that. We can stick one on here with the chain and one on here with the chain. Uh, and that will keep us nicely topped up. Uh, rush the thing for eight gems. This. I was gonna say I feel like my gems are okay, but actually we are kind of uh, kind of low. Uh, no, the the stuff in the shop just shuffles down by one uh, one rank. 
every turn. Uh, so we, we could get that uh, for the chain. I'm not really sure where I would put it. It's actually starting to get harder to to find spots to replace stuff without having combo upgrades like this. Um, yeah, I'm going to take Aspects of Healing. All enemies become relentless for the rest of the scenario. They can't be stunned or frozen. That sucks. Double the base attack of all enemies for the rest of the scenario. <laughs> uh, I love how awful both of these choices always are. There's, there's, never, there's never a good choice. Um, God. Uh, I guess Relentless is better than, uh, is better than doubling the base attack. Uh, that's not very good, is it? everybody relentless okay well that's a decent amount of shield Ooh. free shield so nobody can actually get through the shield which is good um Uh, actually, if we do... Oh, we're going to use our last shield bash. Life is going to get much harder when shield bash goes away. Maybe... Oh... I've only got four turns to defeat these guys. Eight damage and four on either side. Okay, so that works well there. Uh, we can do four and four. Okay. Yeah, they can't get through, but they will roam to the next wave, I guess. So let's take out one of them. Four damage to him. Okay, uh, heal is good. Oh, with that. Okay, no more shield bash. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Two blue gems, one red gem. What do we need blue gems for? And I preach, but we've only got one more charge of that left. Uh, the red gem will let us do fork lightning, but meh. Early light, okay, but we don't have any white gems. Let's take the points. That seems pretty juicy. He's back again. I only just got rid of him. And these two. Oh no, but this guy ah, prevents health gain. Okay, you're going away. You are definitely going away. Uh, Why did I think this was better than that? Oh, I guess I saw that. Well, get rid of that. What turns left? Do have access to this now, but I've no idea where I would put it. So, okay, that seems like a couple of decent sized attacks. Keep that. Uh, get rid of you. Um, you want to get rid of that 
pack alpha. He's going to retaliate. Yeah, that's good. Meditate. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Meditate. Awesome. Okay. Getting some decent faces now. Although it's still kind of tricky to find good places for them. Because every dice has got some faces that are really nice. to give up any of them is a little bit hard. I mean, this, I guess these two are the best candidate. The worst thing about that, though, is we lose the chain. That's fairly bad. Uh, we could, actually, we could put it here, couldn't we? Uh, that might not be too bad. Let's do that. That gets rid of a three disease as well. Yeah, let's do that. I really want white gems. White gems, but it is money. Shapeshifter. So what's this? We've got four block. Actually not bad. Not bad. But only five attack. We got three turns to kill this dude. Oof. Ooh, do not like. Uh, okay, but we do have four blocks, so we will take it. And we'll do it on all on him. He needs to go. Otherwise, that's the end of her run. Okay. Six, six. Oh, okay. Nice and chunky. Chunky, chunky. Although, still no white gems. Uh, also, four block again, which is good. Could use a red gem to charge that to one shot him, even. Although, do we really need to? Well, two turns left. Should be okay, but let's not risk it. Okay, this is nice. Four attack, two shield, and an unrollable face. Where do we put it? Could put it across the top there. Get rid of the attack multiplier. Uh, or we put it across here, uh, and we can that will then we can put that over the curse face. This dice has got no chains on it though, which is a bit. This is our only white gem, but we do have these. Have we, have we ever actually rolled these yet? 
Let's show that we have. attack. Over there, then we lose two gold. Although, the, getting to the point where the upgrades have got diminishing returns. Unless we can get a combo upgrade. Maybe we should wait, actually, see whether we can get this. The night face with a chain on it. Would be really good. Let's wait. That's the time. You need to be able to do three damage. That doesn't do it. Surprisingly. Okay, that does. Okay, so we can afford this. I think we should... Well... I think if we take that and put it over here, and then when it captures something, we can replace the, uh, the trap here and the one attack here with something else. Uh, the downside is we would need to use it to trap something stronger than him, or we would really want to use it to trap something stronger than him. Uh, I mean, all there is this, I suppose. Oh, and it gets rid of the fang. Another chain. It still would be the only chain on this dice. He's currently three. The, the Fang is currently three attack. We're replacing it with a three attack. I think this is okay. I think that's alright. Remove two debuffs or gain score. to get the debuffs down a bit, but also kind of started on our score streak now. So we could try and keep going. shield that's two shield okay so nobody can hit oh yeah even more over there so nobody can hit me it's not the best attack ever Shield bash still. 
be so good. Um, mm, so many debuffed faces. to think, you know, do we take something like this to replace these two? Even though we lose a chain. Maybe we hang on until we can capture something. Hmm. Or Actually, maybe we don't. Maybe we don't do that. Maybe we just put this over there. And it doesn't get rid of the cursed face, but it does give us a moon face that can start ramping up. Uh, the chain. So if you, um, so you can see here, we rolled three chains. So it multiplies the symbols on each face with a chain on it by the number of chains that you rolled. So that's why everything says times three over here. So rather than being one shield, this is three shields. Rather than being one shield, this is three. Um, and the same with the other uh, attack symbols that we had on there. So getting lots of chains uh, is really powerful. Um, I am going to do that. Legendary item found. Worfus's Saturday Stein. When kept, this face splits into two faces with four random symbols each. Uh, what could we get rid of for that? Uh, I think that will get rid of the curse, won't it? Even though we normally can't do that. Although this isn't super great. Having the money is kind of better. Ah, uh, yeah, let's put it there. Done. You've never seen the Stein before? Yeah, I've had that once before. Ah, uh, it is interesting. Um, so are we keeping this? We've got three turns left. Kill Rex. We will have one shield though. No, we won't. God, okay. Uh, that gives us a bunch of shield at least, I guess. I'll keep. Uh, looking at this face here. See, I'm, now I'm loath to get rid of the chains. I want white gems so I can use flipping meditate and, and start getting some of these debuffs off. Okay, that will kill him. It will not get us the lore chest. So let's try and get both. Okay. So, nice, get home with that, get that with that. Plus one charge for Preach uh, and a bunch of other stuff. Okay, meditate. Let's get rid of some debuffs. Um, uh, yeah, I think that's fine. At some point we might want to replace this. But again, it's tricky to... Tricky to depend. Yeah, if we, if we get a good face in the shop, we could maybe end up replacing that money. Okay, uh, two white gems. See, that would let us meditate two more times. Uh... Oh god, Aspect of Healing. We've got three uses of that left as well. No, uh, we've got to go for points now. Petrify seven dice faces at random. Or reduce your maximum health by eight. 
Good God. Okay, well... On the upside, we've got ways to offset this with, um... With holy light. Uh... And also... Didn't something else... Increase our maximum life? Uh, maybe it was something we had captured earlier, I don't remember. If you want a new ability instead of just charges for everything, you need to use up an ability to make room. Oh, really? Am I am I full up? Full up? Um, I'd love to, but all of these require white. Oh well, all bar one of them requires white gems uh, or wild gems, and I don't seem to be rolling either of them at the moment. Uh, I, I see. Reducing our max health is a bit risky because of all of the debuffs we've got, but uh, I think it's better than that one. Think, maybe, possibly. Oh God, no! It's the Moon Caller Witch. If every dice face has a debuff, we die. Keep uh, six, four, two. Goodbye. Jesus, that could have been an instant kill there. Holy moly! This deals damage, other enemies gain 4 health. Okay, which is gonna happen. The hat was... <laughs> yeah, that was the one that I was afraid of turning up. Um, super risky. God, we need those gems. When is this... I feel like sometimes... I don't know, it's weird. Sometimes you feel like the RNG generation in the game is broken and there are some faces that just don't get rolled for absolutely ages. <sighs> but I don't know, I'm imagining it. There's a wild gem. Okay. Uh, we'll keep that because we can one-shot you with that. Um, we'll get rid of you with that. We will uh, meditate, think, will we? Yeah, we will. Uh, keep. Okay. And let's meditate again. Okay, let's meditate used up. Maybe we should have kept it in case we uh, found something that would give us extra charges. Never mind, too late. Um, okay, score. It's got to be score now. Oh god, the cosmic horror has just shown up. Okay. That's two shield, that's four shield. So we are only taking damage from him, but as long as he's around, we can't heal. Which is a pain. So we'd have to hope that was some kind of attack. Which it should be. But we got three turns! Reroll. That's terrible. Reroll. Oh no. Okay. That's bad. Oh, God, because he's healing him. <gasps> oh, well, one health. Oh, no. I think it's all over. I don't think there's any way. We can't afford to re-roll, because if we re-roll, we're going to die. So, we got to keep that. <laughs> which is a full heal. Uh, yeah. What do we do here? What we do... We've got one turn to kill him. I guess it's doable. Uh, so we weaken him twice to stop him healing him. And then we say, 
are there any non-attack faces that we can replace with attacks? Because pretty much that's what we need right now. None of these are super powerful. If we could get one with a chain on, I would replace those two. So let's restock. Uh, hmm. Chain, one splash damage. I mean, I guess it's pretty much as good as that. Are we better getting rid of this? It also eliminates a two one of those, but if we don't kill him, it's not going to matter. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess it is better, isn't it? Or we go for the attack multiplier, but... Well, we could buy a couple of things. Potentially. I feel like I want to replace this with more attack. Let's take this for four. Let's restock. Uh, that's not good. Oh. Uh. I forgot about the double damage on disease faces. Oh no, you're right. No, no. It's chat lag. It's a killer. Oh. Okay, well. I guess we pray. I guess we pray. That's not going to... Yeah, God, we need enough to kill both of them. There's absolutely no way. Short of some, I don't know, miracle. Four attack. <laughs> Zero attack. Zero attack. Well, what a bummer. See, we could even, we can do that. And we can do, uh, we can do that and capture him. And now all we've got to do is kill him. But sadly. We're out of time. Oh, no. Wait. That is it, isn't it? It's not it. Oh. I thought we lost if we don't kill the boss enemies before the timer runs out. He's not a boss. <laughs> he is not. Colossus is a boss, but we captured him, fortunately, in a last throwaway action. <laughs> How is he not a boss? Is that a bug, do you think? He's got a black card, like all the other bosses. Yeah. Kind of feels, yeah, feels a bit bug-like, doesn't it? Oh my god. Okay. Oh no, but I got one health left. <laughs> I think we're going to die anyway. Oh, I think we're going to die anyway. Because, again, I can't afford to re-roll. So annoying as well, because we've got 12 friggin' attacks, and we can one-shot the Colossaur. Uh, but we've only got two shield. This doesn't seem too bad. Are you kidding me? 
I can't, I, I literally can't re-roll. If I re-roll, every face on here is a debuff, so I will die. So I have to keep this. Oh, max health again. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Those things add up to more than I think they do. Alright. Uh, well, yeah, we... Uh, we, we want to one-shot him, surely. Even though we're going to take, what, eight, eight damage. Yeah, we do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, what a bummer he's only one attack, though. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, because uh, this was my strongest attack. But 25% chance to gain four health whenever an enemy dies. Uh, it's nice. Wait! My fear is six. That is a problem. But again, how did I survive? Because his wasn't his attack 10? Or did we reduce it? Shouldn't he have given me like 10 fear and we would have lost? I don't know. We are like clinging on with our fingernails here. This has got friggin' 4 damage every time I roll it. 16! Oh yes, eat that. And uh that. Do we have a key? We don't. Um Lummy neck. Now I need to capture one of those things as a chance to remove fear from me. <laughs> Possibly not an option right now. I've got zero shield. Uh I've only got one fork lightning left though. So he's going to disease me. We have so much debuff going on. I think I need to get aspects of healing on all of those chain faces. and we should try and proc Holy Light as quickly as we can as well. Keep. Oh. We're basically rolling, losing half our health, and then if we're lucky, healing it back again. Um, yeah, what else can I put healing on? Let's put it on there. Oh, score or remove fear. Oh, I lost my streak anyway. We uh oh, but meditate. Oh no, what a choice. Yeah, yeah, it's gotta be done it. I've got no white gems at the moment even, but Yeah. Oh god, the Sunstone Guardian, I hate him. He's an ass. Can't be attacked during the day. Okay. We can kill him now, but... Uh, yeah, we better do it now while we still can. It's only two shield there. This dude is going to wither us. Rig. is with a with a three we gotta do it spawn a legendary chest if we capture him oh we can't that's double hmm Too risky to attack him, I think. We could capture him. Curse heals you instead of damaging you. 
but I think he really needs to go. Two shield. Yeah, a ton of value from the multivitamin. Absolutely awesome. I mean, to be fair, that's partly why I took the every enemy has diseased uh, curse, or whatever they call it. Um, because I knew I had multivitamins, so it would mitigate it to an extent. Um, but, yeah, it's still been great. Yeah, we've, we've got we've to kill this dude, because we can't really afford to reroll with all the debuffs that we've got. Um... Finish him off by doing that. And then I guess... Uh, werewolves have curse of attack one. God. I mean, he needs to die. So much withering. Oh, he's got rid of our attack multiplier. Okay, but that's alright. 12 attack. Take that. Uh, yeah, get rid of you in a one shot. Uh, who is the next most dangerous? What are you doing? Oh, you're doing a freeze as well. Okay, so I guess we get rid of you next. Uh, oh no, now I'm going to have to buy something to go over here. Uh... I need to slow myself down sometimes when executing stuff. <laughs> That's not often people tell me to slow down. <laughs> uh, quite possibly correct there. Ah, this is a pain. Though, to be honest, getting rid of... I mean, I know the double damage thing is, is important, but this has got four uh, disease on it now, which is pretty horrible. I don't know. I mean, do we take... What do we do here? Pliers, but I don't know how how good is that really could we stock try and get something better than this. Restock and hope for a white gem. Maybe, I don't know, we've got enough wild gems, I think, that... I mean, I know we're... does seem to be a bit of a problem, but... I just want to make sure I've got a high enough attack uh, that I can kill these things pretty quickly. Ooh. Well, a moon face. We could have a D3 going on here. Moon face is never bad. I think I'm going to do that. D3. I've never had a D3 before, I don't think. Keep. Keep. Let's try and meditate some of this stuff off. Score. Oh god, more trials. Lose all non-temporal gold symbols on your dice. Double the cost of all upgrades for the rest of the scenario. Hmm. 
We don't need upgrades that often, so I think doubling the cost of them is okay. If you get a D1 with a legendary face, you will never die to the Mooncaller. Ha! <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> I'll take a bit of engineering. Have you ever had that? double the cost. That's not much damage. Uh, I suppose it is day, but... Uh, we could charge that, I suppose. Gold steel. Two shield. Six with splash and a key. Can we kill him? Uh, probably not. Only going to do one damage. Charging the axe costs nothing, yeah. Right, charge it first and then we get three. Yeah, you're right. Um, it's just it's not enough. Well, I suppose... No, I, no, I can kill him. Yeah, okay. Sure, let's do that. I can kill him. Oh, yeah. Or splash. Oh yeah, because we charged it and it's on a disease face. All right, so that's good. Do that. Use a key on that. Um, how many shield have we got? Two. So oh, and we can still get rid of him. Okay, I miscalculated that. She's gonna steal my gold, but yeah, whatever. Is she a boss? She is a boss. I'm sure Thulu's supposed to be a boss. Uh, I got two shield. At some point, I could use Absorb Force as well. Although now is probably not the best time. Oh, we've got another ability. Taijutsu. Whenever an enemy attacks you this turn, they take damage equal to half their attack. Round it up. Save that. Huh, what do we think we're going to get from the beer? Is it worth keeping? Hmm. Three turns, probably. Ah. Oh. It was not. Score if we kill him. Uh, too bad, I think. Four shield, though. Nobody can hit me. Seems worthwhile. Yeah, 
he needs to go as quickly as possible. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We could even reap him. Curse heals you instead of damaging you. I have no curse at the moment. I got rid of it all. Uh, we reap the villager. Archie, we can't because that's two. Reap the Dractyl. Add stun to a random attack face on capturing die. Well, that doesn't matter now. Uh, so let's just get rid of him. Oh, we are going to reap him. That's okay, because he's a higher attack. We lose the 50% chance to gain one health each turn. And maybe that has actually kept us alive before. But... Okay, I'm going to do Holy Light now. Just to boost my max health. disease is when you keep a diseased face. Oh, I have to keep it because I've frozen. Ooh, that's a pain. Not much I can do about that. Okay, this should be pretty good. Uh, can we use up a blue gem first? gems of some sort. Um, okay, so hit him for six, three on either side. That will kill all of those, I think. Yep. Uh, ooh, we, we want to be careful here. We don't want to reap him. Do we? Attacks on this die deal one extra damage to enemies with no shield. Uh, no, I don't think we want to lose that. So we'll... She doesn't matter. Does not matter. Do that and that. Um, hmm, okay. Kind of think I want to be replacing these faces just because Curse is getting a bit out of hand. Um... And there's enough enemies still hitting us that they're putting it back on, so... But what do we replace? This frozen face is annoying. Put a chain here. I don't really want the capture. Hmm. Guess we just keep it. Okay, we fully healed that one, that's nice. I think that Mooncaller Witch is going to end up killing us sooner or later. She's going to show up and um, we're going to roll all debuffs and we'll be dead. It's Mikara again. Still not a boss. Although he will give us 10 fear when he escapes. Um, I don't think we can rely on this being good, so I'm going to re-roll. We could charge that. Makes it 12. That means we can one shot him. But. We have no shield there. Um. Do 
we take 18 damage. We'll be fully healed. But we'll be on 11 health. And then we'll be rolling. take out an enemy another way. Orc lightning. So we could kill him. Although doing taijutsu would be fairly good here. He would do five damage to himself. Uh, we do just about have enough to do both. What's the most I could take? Four, five, six, seven, eight damage on one reroll. We've still got Holy Light. Fifteen damage. I'm gonna keep it. Oh, we get rid of him as well. Nice, okay. Good, good. Fork lightning on him and I guess we want to kill him if we can. So do that. We do Chaijutsu. Feels pretty worthwhile, although it will use up our last wild gem. some holy lights. Score. Remove four attack symbols at random from your dice. All enemies become untargetable for the rest of the scenario. Well, the only ability that I've got um, that targets them is weaken. preach but I'm well having said I'm not going to use preach that did save us when we captured him but removing four attack symbols could just cripple us so take that Oh boy. Uh, okay, it's day, we can't attack him. We got no block unless there's any hiding behind there. And we got three turns to kill it. Oh god. Oh boy. Nineteen, twenty-three, twenty-four, thirty 
Okay. We can one shot him. And heal with it. So that's good. We should do that. Uh, we should definitely do that. And finish him off with four from there, I think. Okay. Next two times he takes damage, reduce it to zero. Oh, that sucks. Okay, well then I guess we use that to kill that. It's not too bad. Not too bad. It is day, though. But I can't attack him. I wonder if I Taijutsu. Again, I think I do. At least he takes uh, some damage. Okay, that's good. Oh, this is going to be hard because I've got to re-roll to get it today. But every time I re-roll, take a ton of damage. Uh, the horn could kill, but... Only if I don't have... Oh, wait, hang on. How much block will I have? Yeah, if I use that, you're right. I'll only have two block when I... So... So... Oh! Wait, 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 wait. No, shoot. It's not going to trigger. Ah, uh, Taijutsu again. There we go. Okay, streak of 21 health. <laughs> Multivitamin having a having a hard job keeping up now. 12 health. My god. Okay, well I can one-shot the Colossaur, so that's good. So let's do that. And he's locking a random dice each turn, is he? Uh... Yeah, let's take uh, as little damage as we can. That's already fairly chunky. Even we got no shield. Jeez. <laughs> Some of these faces are getting very tasty. I can't even see what's on this one anymore. A moon face, nice. It's steadily been doing its job. Uh guess that heals us. Ooh. Not for quite as much as I thought it was going to. Hmm. Oh, we got to keep the streak going, really, though, don't we? But, ooh, this is getting a bit hairy. Four, five, six, ten. Could take eleven damage just on rolling our dice. 32 attack. That's got to be a new record. Has to be. Uh, there's plenty of shield, so yeah, sure. Full heal. I love it when we, we keep the dice and we fully heal. Um, reaping is juicy too. Reap four, so we could reap him. Oh yeah, because he's about to go away anyway. And his ability doesn't do much. Uh, add reroll activation to a random face on capturing dice. Very nice. Okay. Yeah, that is juicy. Uh, okay, done. Uh, get rid of the golem. I think. Yep. And uh, hit. Uh, I want to get rid of 
rid of these other dudes. And uh, we'll just hit her, open that up. And uh, we got two, oh yeah, okay, we got two blocks, that's oh, alright. Okay, well that's enough to kill. So much disease. Yeah, literally, if the Mooncaller Witch shows up, it's game over. Whenever she shows up, game over. I mean, I don't know, should I be trying to do something about that? I could. I could take this face, put it over here. You like the idea? Yeah, it's a bit chancy, isn't it, at the moment? Uh, although, I mean, yeah. We're going to have to replace a lot of... I know, that's the thing, right? And pretty much every face is... is decent now. This is possibly one of the weakest. Uh, and I guess this is not so... Well, I see the, the attack multiplier is... Replacing it with this wouldn't be bad though, because at least this gives us a chain. Uh, or the other option is we go uh, here with that. And we lose some healing. Uh, but I kind of feel the healing is really essential right now. Oh, and it's the sun face as well. Yeah. Oh, they're both sun faces. Oh, God. Yeah, I didn't see that. <laughs> so many icons. Kind of hard to see. Yeah, well, so what do you think about across the top here, then, maybe? Um, I don't really want to get rid of any chains. Uh, and yeah, well, I, yeah, I suppose we're, yeah, we're, we're going to be adding a chain, so we could put it across a, an existing chain. there even increases our attack damage potential then we're completely reliant on wild gems for uh, for white gems which is fine uh, but we are losing a bit of heal there as well so I don't know I don't know what's better Maybe, maybe we... Mm, see, that's also two disease. <sighs> I'm thinking across the top. Petrifies two faces. Thanks for that. Uh, okay, and you've locked that. And you do dear damage back to me. Uh, do we? As long as we did, as long as we beat this. Uh, Sixteen absorbs the first one non-piercing damage. Okay, barrier's fine. So I always get barrier and the other one mixed up. So yeah, we can kill him with the 16. Or we could kill him with the 16. That deals 14 damage back to us. Or maybe 10 damage back to us. Which is not the best. It's better to chip away at him, really. Uh, we have no shield there, though. we keep this and use it as shield. It's pretty good. It is pretty good. Let's charge that. Um... 
I guess we, okay, so now we only need to do eight. Take a bit of damage, that's all right. Uh, then we can use that on him. Do we kill him? Do we get the money? Is there a, a limit on how many points you can get from money? I thought I saw somewhere that it said maximum of 10. Uh, maybe, oh yeah, maximum gold bonus. Right there. Okay. So actually getting more gold now is not that big a deal. So maybe we just kill him. Extra 100 points if you can do it below 10, okay. Oh, did we get it anyway? Looks like we got it anyway. <laughs> okay. We could lose two debuffs from our dice. <laughs> but I think not. I think we got to go for the points, right? 7,121. Two stars. Next stop, 11,000 points. Yeah, maybe not. Lose all captured enemies in your dice. No! <laughs> Double the base attack of all enemies for the rest of the scenario. No! Oh my god! Ugh. Oh, we we are about to lose. I don't I don't feel like I can lose lose these. Uh, I mean, we're getting the four attack from the horn. He's healing me. He's giving me double damage on just about every face on my dice. Uh, you would only be upset about the gnat and the zombie. I guess the zombie's going away eventually anyway. The gnat is a pretty big deal though. <laughs> yeah. That is a pretty big deal. I mean, that's what's been letting us one-shot some of these bosses. They do, don't they? Well, I think we're going to keep... We're going to stand by our allies. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, basically, do, do we want to halve our damage output? Yeah, do we want to halve our damage output, or do we want to double the out damage output of the enemies? Uh, we could not use melee attack, that's true. So double the base attack of all enemies. Do it. Tunstone Guardian again. Okay, it is night for two more rolls. Uh, this has attack and stuff on reroll activation. Which would be nice if it not were not for all of the rest of the badness. Um, and the fact that we got to kill him while it's night, so keep. Uh, yeah, there's no efficient way to do this, really. Hit you with that. Hit you with that. Uh, you're a boss. But you're hitting for six. You have one fear each turn. I mean, he should be manageable. Six damage might be worse. Although he's hitting for six as well. Oh god, he's got damage cap of one. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of him. It's all overpowered. I can only do one damage to everybody. Uh, oh, we 
we've got keys, but really, who cares? I think we want to get rid of the six attack dude first. Last turn, okay, he was killed anyway. Uh, keep. I mean, we've got some crazy attack going on here. This is very satisfying. Um, do we buy a shop upgrade to try and not die to the Mooncaller Witch? Ah, it feels like a losing battle. Um, although, actually, what was what's on here? Oh, that's my two wild gems. Honestly, yeah, I think that's, that's alright at this stage. Let's take that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, once you once they get wrapped up, it really is a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, it's just crazy. I mean I can't even see what's on this dice now. Um yeah, that is one of my moon faces, right? It's just just been amassing stuff. Is that the only moon face I've got? Uh, I thought I had another one. God, I hope I didn't accidentally replace it. I think that might be the only one. Uh, points. 24 and 16. Eight. So we can kill all of the bosses straight out. Oh, the outline is different if they're a sun or moon face. Oh, yeah, it's kind of like a uh, a moon-coloured outline. Uh, and yeah, the sun one is a yeah yellow, I guess. Kind of hard to see. Brownie one on the normal faces. Okay, keep that. Um, yeah. Oh, that splash. Doesn't matter. Ah, oh, well, it does matter actually because then I can kill one of these as well. Uh, let's get rid of you. Purple for moon, yellow for sun, and the currently world faces are underlaid blue, okay. Points. Yeah, so this is now starting to ramp up as well, isn't it? So 150. I'm terrified that this, I'm sure the moon caller witch, I mean, she's, she feels overdue. Um, two piercing and chain. Yeah, it'd be nice to. If there was another good moon face, I guess. I could put these two over those two. That gives us a 50% chance of surviving if the witch shows up. You lose a bit of healing potential, but not too bad. shield is that? Two. Okay, that's worth keeping. Now uh, that splash as well. Take out all of them with that. And we'll take out you because you're the purple one so you must be worse. Uh, oh hey, this is no longer debuffed. How did that happen? What's happening? Something's clearing the debuffs. Is that... Is that multivitamin? <laughs> I thought multivitamin was getting so overwhelmed that um, there's basically nothing it can do, but um, yeah, maybe it is helping. And then, then he's going to hit us and put some more back on. Um, we could even take. Wow. 
stick with what we got. Points. 160. Uh, 8842. That's not as good as usual. Could use that for block. have frenzy. She's got piercing anyway. Slow down. Four attack from the big dudes, thirty four altogether. Could do eight on him. Mm. Large this up to a four splash, then we'd have two four splashes. That's still not quite good enough. I guess a four splash on him. An eight could then kill the Duchess. Oh god. Piercing. Wait, did I have something that says my shield can block piercing damage? No, maybe that was before. Uh, oh god, how will we do this? Oh, we've got shield here as well, actually. Only one, so I think that's three shield. Those two have piercing. Okay, so they're the most dangerous. Ah, uh, we could do. F okay, yeah, let's keep this. We do four with splash on her, then these two can both be killed with eight. Do. Oh, wait. Need the cart, did my math wrong. Well, they can if we do that. Re shield. Yeah, we're fine. Then eight. Um, and eight. Okay. for four? I'm not sure she did. Uh, okay, that will do it. Four. Uh, six. Oh no, it won't because you have hidden away in your description damage cap one. Oh well, it's here. Should have seen it. Sorry, yeah, the retaliate thing is happening. Okay, 180 points. Oh my god, more trials! Remove four attack symbols at random from your dice. All enemies have plus two base attack for the rest of the scenario.
We, our strategy is kill them before they hit us. So, we'll go for that. Eight and eight. Wow, everybody's hitting so hard. Mm, maybe I picked the wrong option. Maybe I picked the wrong option. That is just one shield. We have two hits. But only eight, I can't kill him. better. Better for sure. So we kill you. Uh, the next biggest damage, biggest damage is you. And the next biggest damage is you. What is killing them when I keep my dice? Oh, is it the, the hearts on... Yeah, it's the hearts on the mummy. It's nice. Kill him. Okay. We can call the witch. Still going to one-shot us. Unless maybe we roll this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, it feels like, yeah, I mean, I could, you know, I could try buying stuff, but... I, I don't know. I'm now at the stage where nothing is as good as what I would be replacing it with. So if we get it, we get it. Easy to say now. No! Oh, ho, ho, we did it! There she is, and we rolled the beer stein. Oh my god. But can we kill her though? It all depends what's in here. Oh, I think we're dead. I don't think we can do it. If I, Even if we kill her. How much damage is coming in from everybody else? A metric ton. <laughs> oh no, we were so close. Okay, well I've got to keep this. It's the only... Oh! Hang on, okay. Okay. Oh my god. We have zero block. Uh, I, well, okay. So let's say hypothetically we killed Tethervor. We would take uh, 10, 28 damage, which would not kill us. Uh, 28 damage. We could then roll this and this, and this and this. Uh, and that would be 30, so we'd be on three hit points and we would be alive. <laughs> In theory, it's possible. I can't even use Absorb Force because I don't have any shield. In theory, it's possible. Yeah, I can, I can use Taijutsu. Uh, but it's not going to help because they're going to do the damage to me. 
Um, they're going to do the damage to me first. Huh. But I guess that is the only way to survive, right? Potentially. Oh, actually, uh, yeah, I'll have to use the cursing attack and this on Tethervor. Is keeping the shields a good option? <laughs> so keep this so nobody can damage me. <laughs> and then bank on rolling one of these again next time. Uh, you know what? I guess it, I guess it is. Which, oh, because she's got piercing. Okay. That's true. That is true. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you're right though. I think that is the best option. Oh, hang on. Tethervor's the Tethervor has a fearing attack. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. So Tethervor one-shots me. <laughs> uh, we can we we can block it. We can block it. It's not piercing, right? But it does mean... What does it mean? It means we have to kill the Moon Call the Witch and Tethervor in one go. Yeah, I think keeping the block is the right option because uh, the odds are I'm going to roll more than two curse damage anyway, or more than three curse damage or whatever it is I can take. Um, I mean, the odds are I'm going to be killed by her, but yeah, we'll keep that. Uh, in the event that I do live, who are we best putting this damage on? I suppose given that we've got to kill both of these next go, uh, we should... And suppose we roll this again, we're one short of killing him, so maybe we put the curse on Tethervor. We don't want to attack the Beast Rider or Lesser Demon if we use Taijutsu. Oh, because they will kill themselves. Right. Yeah, good point. Yeah, so let's put this on him. Um, oh wow. How did that end up being three curse? It was only two. Wasn't it only two? No idea what happened there. Let's put that on him. Let's hit her with that. And then Taijutsu. And next go. <laughs> we have to roll that face or that face or we're dead. No! Oh! Well... Oh, now I have a bad feeling. If I'd done the curse on her... If I'd done the curse on her... Legendary faces that split up have no damage preview. Would she have been dead? Because we would have hit her for th apparently three damage, and she would have had the three curse. The cursed attack had four damage? Yeah, she would have been dead, we would have lived. <laughs> That's really annoying. No, why do legendary faces that split up have no damage preview? Because, yeah, it looked like... Um, it looked like it was just two attack, right? Oh, no. Well, we still did pretty well. We still did pretty well. Um, what were we? 8,000. Still 3,000 away from 11,000. But with that score multiplier, I guess we were... We were starting to uh, to build up pretty quickly. Um, 
But that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Happy with that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're probably lucky to survive as long as we did. Multivitamin was fantastic in the end. It just goes to show, I mean, you, you can play a game where literally every face on your dice is cursed uh, and not die. Uh, which is kind of cool. Which is kind of cool. Whew. But all that for two stars there. It really makes you work now, doesn't it? Okay, well, I think that's going to do it uh, for the campaign mode. Um, new campaign levels? What do you mean new campaign levels? I can do it with, with, the, with the other characters. Oh, bottom right. Oh, right, okay. Campaign level 2. Oh, I can go to campaign level 3. Score multiplier 1.2. Maximum gold bonus, 300 points. Uh, but realistically, not sure I'm going to do it again. Um, oh no, I hate to say it, this may even be my... Well, I don't know, never say never. Uh, this could be my last circadian dice stream, I think. Uh, I feel like I've kind of gone through everything now. Um, seen everything that the game has to offer. Except, I guess, hard mode, campaign mode. Um, but, um, yeah, score multiplier, multiplies all score, you get up to the next scenario. So the early score is, scenarios are actually important, okay. Yeah, I was definitely neglecting it early on just to try and get more gold and, um, and actually yeah, build up a decent set of dice. So I, I guess it's a balance. Um, hard mode campaign lets you choose any one relic as your first relic, does it? Oh uh, yeah, so it does. Interesting. Oof. I'd be tempted to choose the Preserver then. Uh, the Preserver I really, really, really like. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Uh, maybe uh, one day the urge will uh, seize me to, uh, to to have another go at this again, because I, I have really enjoyed this game. Um, I've, yeah, I've never got tired of playing it, which is rare for a game that I've played as much as this. Usually by this stage, it's like I'm kind of just doing things to kind of get it done and then move on to something else. Um, but uh, but yeah, I mean, there's, there's just there's just so many games, so many good games. Um, it's, yeah, it's just I don't have enough time to play everything, right? So, uh, but yeah, who knows? Maybe maybe I'll do a, you know, a one-off game of this every now and again uh, when the mood strikes. Um, but in case not, uh, and in case I don't see you on any other streams, uh, thanks uh, for uh, joining in in this one. Uh, big thanks to Sani as well, uh, who developed this game. Uh, did a fantastic job. Um, and yeah, I guess that's going to be it for this time. So uh, thank you everybody for watching. And until next time, this is BDA Limey signing out. Bye for now.